feeling real fucking good right now. Uh, uh, you see I'm growing up, learning about how my mind works. Starting up the day, looking through my 49 shirts. This works, grab a towel, freshen up, cup of coffee, take a seat, and really start waking up. I gotta open mind when it comes to life. I have a plan, and my plan is to live it right. I've seen a lot in my eyes through my visions. What can happen fast if you really start tripping? People have their ups, downs, lows, and that's just how it goes. I tell them. Morning, poopies. <laughs> Dogs are outside doing their morning business and Lex is still upstairs asleep so I like to keep quiet because he does have jet lag a bit since being with David. I'm going to have my morning decaf coffee and I'm going to feed the dogs and then I'm going to get on with some work. My zinc and my selenium, my water. I'm going to put some of these toffee flavoured drops into my coffee. These are my salted caramel muffins. The recipe is on my recipe channel and I just keep them in the fridge because they're quite moist and have pumpkin in them. So I take them out and I just blitz them in the microwave on a low heat for 20 seconds and it just melts all the chocolate and makes them delicious. I'm all out of my coconut almond milk so I'm having to resort to this unsweetened almond milk but it's actually Quite a nice change. Here we have my slightly warmed muffin, coffee, I've had my vitamins, I have my water to get through this morning. It's now just after 9am so I'm going to sit down with my laptop and do some online work. I'm not going to bore you with that so right now I'm going to insert footage from yesterday of me doing my Primark lingerie haul. I know that's what you're really here for so enjoy. Good afternoon guys. If you're here to watch a lingerie try on don't worry it is coming but firstly I just want to talk about body confidence because if you don't know a couple of years ago I did not look like this I did not have this physique I have built this up from nothing to what you see today and if you had asked me five years ago if I'd be willing to stand in front of a camera and model underwear that I bought in Primark I would have laughed at you but here I am now putting up photos on Instagram weekly of me in my underwear showing my proud physique that I have built myself. You don't have to be a Victoria's Secret model to be proud of your body. I'm five foot one, I'm curvy, I've got fat, I've got muscle, but I am proud of my body and I'm proud of what I've achieved. But mostly I'm proud of the way I have learned to love my body and love myself over the past five years. It can be an uphill struggle to learn to appreciate your body in all its forms with all its flaws and to appreciate the good parts of your body to be able to look in the mirror and say yes I look good today that is an achievement in itself this doesn't happen overnight and getting the body of your dreams doesn't happen overnight none of these things happen overnight if you're blessed with an amazing physique go you and well done but if you're like me and you have to work hard to get your body in shape appreciate every little change that happens. Without further ado, here it is. This is my physique. I'm about a stone over what I normally am on stage. I have gained muscle and I've gained some curves. Victoria's Secret model to be lingerie positive. Do my cardio, get some coffee in me and then head to get my lashes done and then I'm going to hit up the 
gym. I'm gonna hit up the same workout as I did last week. It's back and shoulders day. So if you wanna check out the last video for my back and shoulder workout, go and check that out now. So let's get this cardio done. Just finished my sweaty cardio as it's Friday and I do five days of cardio. Today was my last day and I really felt it. It was really draining so I'm looking forward to having a weekend off from cardio to let myself recover again and then I'll go back to it on Monday full throttle. But right now I'm gonna have my first proper coffee of the day. I'm all set, ready to go, running late as usual and I am wearing the new flex you can see it has like a sleeve so it's like a cropped flex top and i really like it to be honest i didn't think i'd like it as much as i do but they're releasing all new flex lines so there's going to be shorts there's going to be leggings in new colors and of course the training bras and these cute little tops which i love i'm wearing a size small in the tops i used to wear a size extra small but to be honest they were kind of restricting my breathing so i've moved up to a size small but i'm still an extra small in the leggings but i am heading out now i've washed the hair it really needed it and i trimmed my fringe because it was getting a bit long so i gave it a little bit of a home hairdressing and i'm just gonna go and get my lashes done i've no eye makeup on because um when i get my lashes done she washes my whole eye if i wear eyeshadow so pointless finished with my eyelash appointment and i feel super girly again now i'm gonna go to starbucks grab a coffee I, i'm not one of these starbucks lovers i usually just get a skinny flat white because i feel it's the only coffee that they make good Either that or their iced coffees, but it's a bit bleh out today, so I think I'll go for a skinny flat white. And does anyone else do this? I have a stash of like little snacks in my car. So I have these like little bars that I get in boots, and they're only like small little ones, so they've got push and control. And then I've got these like sugar free little sweets that I keep in the car. Which, um, I get an Aldi and they're just good for I suppose avoiding eating crap when you're out and about so I'll suck on one of these now and then head to Starbucks for my what is my fringe doing I did cook it cut it today so I'm just gonna head to Starbucks for my pre-workout coffee I'm just finished a very sweaty upper body workout it was in my previous video so back and shoulders i varied it a little bit because i'm in a different gym so i use some different equipment but pretty much the same i kind of hit up three exercises for back and three exercises for shoulders so this morning you saw i weighed in at 124 pounds now my weight has been kind of fluctuating between 123.5 and 125 pounds so it's kind of plateaued over the last few weeks i've been hitting my macros really consistently except for the weekends i feel like when i have those cheat days at the weekend it is impacting on my progress and it's holding me back and i think that may be the key to my plateau also over the past week or two i've been super busy as you know i've launched my new cooking channel which involves extra editing extra recording and just a lot of extra work i also have another few projects in the pipeline with gymshark etc so this is all kind of leading to me being super busy and also it means that my food intake has been very so I always hit my macros but I may be having a huge meal later on in the day which I normally wouldn't have and it also means that sometimes I'm doing cardio at 9 p.m. and sometimes I'm going to the gym and hitting up like heavy workouts between 8 and 9 p.m. which is not normal for me I normally train between 2 and 4 p.m. so all this can lead to kind of fluctuations on the scales I'll obviously weigh in a bit heavier if I've eaten closer to when I go to bed and also if I train closer to going to bed especially when last night it was a glute workout i feel that may have impacted my way in today i'm not making excuses i'm just giving reasons as to why i may be plateauing on the scales and not seeing the results but i think if over the weekend i hit my macros a little bit more consistently without these cheat meals and i'm still not seeing the results on the scales next week i will have to look at making adjustments to my macros so what i will probably do is do a carb cycle so this means i will be taking in lower carbs for three 
three or four days followed by a higher carb day. Now this usually works for me when I plateau. It usually just kickstarts my metabolism again and kickstarts fat loss. So my goal right now with my diet and my training is not to get competition lean. I'm not aiming for a competition or to step on stage anytime soon. Lex and I are hoping to start a family in the next year or so. So my goal right now is to get my body as fit and as healthy and as healthily lean as I can get it before we start trying to get pregnant. So that is my current goal for my weight loss and my training and everything that's going on in my life. I am gearing towards starting a family. I'm in from the gym and my priority is obviously to feed the family first because I'm a proper Irish mum. Doggies are just polishing off their dinner and I've made a nice sandwich for Lex. So I'm using this high protein Dr. Zach's bread, which you can get from Muscle Food. And Muscle Food also do deli kind of sliced meats. So I've got some lean cooked turkey breast and some of the cooked ham. And then I have a weird combination of applesauce and yellow honey mustard. So I'll be serving this up to Mr. Griffin with a cup of tea. I feel like he probably wasn't very well nourished when he was in New Jersey with David. So we're going to make up for lack of the micros. Is it good to be home, Lex? Other than the Twitter hack. Who has No, it's probably just some kid though. Maybe get more secure passwords. I love Lainey just isn't. Family fed, now I'm going to feed my face. So I'm having a very late breakfast. I'm going to have oats. I'm gonna bulk it out with some of these fiber sticky things. And then I'm gonna add some protein powder. So I'm gonna use this chocolate peanut butter from EHP. And then I'm gonna add in some egg whites at the end. And it just makes them super fluffy and super yummy. And then I'm gonna to top it with some microwaved blueberries and all you do is you get frozen blueberries you add some artificial sweetener to it and then you microwave it for about a minute but do it in like 30 second stints because it will explode all over your microwave and it just you put that on top and it just makes it so yummy so i've been looking forward to this all day so i have the oats fiber and protein microwaved i did it in two one minute stints i have the blueberries already and as you can see it's like a little compote that compote can be put on top of creamed rice or on top of porridge like i'm doing or on top of yogurt and it's just super tasty adds a lot of flavor and it's a great source of fiber and now i'm going to add in about 50 to 100 grams of my egg whites now you add it in and stir it through and then you microwave it for 30 seconds and then mix it through again because you, you don't want it to turn into scrambled eggs you want it to be like a cakey consistency here we have some super cakey oats i also added in six grams of the powdered peanut butter i just added water to that and now i'm going to pour on top Ooh. the blueberry compote as you can see it's like a peanut butter and jelly Eggy oats. Yum. Excuse my sniffles and my runny eyes. I've just been cooking up a storm. For dinner, I have prepared a meatloaf with a meatloaf sauce. It's a healthy adaptation of a Jamie Oliver recipe because Jamie Oliver, amazing recipes, full of flavor, but also packed full of carbs and fats. So you can reduce down those carbs and fats, still get the protein kick, still get all the flavor, just by making a few adaptations of his recipes. And that's what I've done. So I've created this healthy meatloaf. So there's beef, pork, and then bacon on top. Over here, we have the sauce. So it's a chickpea tomato sauce. It's full of flavor. There is paprika, there's chilies in there, and it's just so tasty. Now, this is a great recipe for when you're cooking for a group of people because you can just slice up the meatloaf, you can put the sauce in a big bowl, serve it with potatoes, with some crusty bread, and then you've just got an amazing kind of fun platter to share with your friends, and it's still super healthy. Here we have Friday night dinner at the Griffins. Lex's has, he's got three portions of the meatloaf, got the meatloaf sauce, he's got some mashed root veg. You look depressed, Lex. At least look slightly pleased that your wife cooks for you. And we've got some um, of the Joseph's Pittas, and I just sprayed them in of some of the 
garlic fry light sauce and toasted them. So it's kind of like for dippy, dippiness. Poor little Bailey. Yeah, you look at that. It was his fault. It was your fault. You didn't knock on the door. Bailey was outside playing daddy there. Forgot to let her back in. So poor Bailey was sat at the front door for an hour in the cold. And she came in and she was all shivery and sad. Were you neglected by dad? No, daddy doesn't care. When I record the recipe for my cooking channel, I will advise to add less chilli. You know what was a given? What? The fact that we can't breathe in here. I know, but I thought that was a smoked paprika. I'm gonna go and enjoy this food, and then we're gonna watch the last episode of Power, because I wouldn't let him watch it last night at midnight. So that's it for today. <laughs> Lex looking depressed, ruining my vlogs as always. He has been the wrecker of all vlogs since he has Not all vlogs. Most of the majority. I'm, I'm the comedy factor. Don't need to, this is not a comedy channel. And therein lies the new niche. Okay, I'm going now. <coughs> Bye. Talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, flying all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'll be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up. Oh.